Hello everyone, this is the installation tutorial for Europe campaign map. It is finally released and it looks absolutely gorgeous. Uh, for those who are playing any Roman type mods, this is going to be an absolute crazy immersion booster. So let's start off with a few things. So first what we're going to want to do is make sure you're on 1.8.0. So you go to your betas, none, if you're on the current 1.8.0, if it's past this date, make sure you click on 1.8.0. And once that's done downloading, make sure you go to local files here and verify integrity maybe once or twice to ensure no corrupted files that have been downloaded. So once that's done, I do recommend doing a clean installation rather than a dirty installation. I will be doing a dirty installation just because I know it works. A difference between a dirty and clean installation is a fresh install, no mods, nothing coming right as you just download the game fresh. A dirty is you have mods installed. But I did a semi semi dirty because I just reinstalled the game and a bunch of mods without actually running it. So while that's downloading for you guys here, you can go on Nexus Mods and visit the European campaign map. What we want to do is we have files. We have the main file and we have a patch file. Uh, let's download just the main file now. You can do the patch file on yourself, but you can see it tells you where to replace the file. So you want to click on manual download. It's going to ask you to download Harmony as well. So you need two mods. You need this mod and Harmony. So you want to click on this here, Harmony, click on files and download Harmony. So you're going to have this file harmony and European campaign map. So once you download, what we have here is we do have this downloaded in a RAR format. I am using 7-zip rather than WinRAR. So first you want to do is obviously I'm on Windows 11, but Windows 10, other uh, Windows 7 will maybe look slightly different. But I'm going to go to properties. For me, no, for you, you're going to see a option called unblock here. Click on unblock and click apply, then OK. It's an unblock DIL files allowing you to read and write. So next, once you go back to properties or your choice, I have 7-zip and I'm going to extract to this campaign map folder right here. What it's going to show is Europe Lemmy project. That is what you're going to be dumping into the modules folder. We're going to go back to banner lord here. We're going to go to Properties, Local Files, Browse, Modules. As you can see, I have a bunch of mods I'm going to do for a new playthrough. So what I'm going to do is grab the folder and drop right in there. And as you can see, I have it right here. And for those who think that's it, no, there's one more step that we need to actually do. So here on the... Oh my goodness. The European map installation, they do recommend we delete the terrain, terrain shaders and core shaders. So you want to copy this link here. Uh, program data, mountain blade, banner lord, and slash shaders. What you're going to want to do is go to your modules folder. Just click up top here, a little address bar. Copy and paste it here. Press enter. And you're going to have your core and shaders. What you want to do is click delete. I believe that's re uh, referencing the shaders in the game. Once again, it does unblock dills, but not necessary, but it is best option. So once you have the both, both mods installed, let's just go click play here. Uh, right here. And make sure your mods are installed. You have your harmony up the top. And you have your Lemmy project underneath the native modules. So let's click play here. Let's just go uh, make sure this works. Okay. So now let's go to sandbox and skip right through everything. It might take a little bit to load in your first time because it is building those shaders or reloading the asset folders that you did delete. So I'm quickly just going to go Empire. 
go right through just so we can boot it up and as you can see we've successfully installed the european map obviously this is not a hyper realistic it's obviously this is interpretation of the map but other than that stay tuned and enjoy and enjoy the map any problems down below let me know in the comments down below